Hi, my name is Diana Gui. I'm 16 and I'm from Shanghai, China. My name is Vivian. I'm 16 and I'm from Beijing, China. Hi, my name is Saffron. I am 15 and I am from Guangzhou, China. So a lot of 1.5 generations um, have to do translation or help the family settle. And um, it's so children are taking up adult responsibilities. Have you ever done that and what do you think about it? Yeah, all the time. Like, <laughs> like my parents, um, I mean, I'm, my dad's always like, oh, can you type this email out for me? Or like, can you make, can you call like so-and-so at whatever hour um, and make sure this is happening? Because, um, because, yeah, I don't know, because like they can, they can speak in English, but they, they just have like an accent and like the, the like, Grammatical ability isn't as good as mine, so I just I don't know. Yeah. Do you like doing that? It's kind of I don't know. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty annoying to be honest, but I don't mind doing it. Yeah. 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 Well, my dad's English is fine, but my mom's English is not as good. And um, sometimes we go out to the shops, and you get shop assistants trying to sell you something, or like they're talking to my mom, and sometimes my mom doesn't understand. So I have to go and like translate it for her or like talk to the shop assistant for her mm. and um, it's slightly embarrassing when you're outside and a little bit frustrating because mm. you kind of like <laughs> like the middle person, you yeah. have to talk to both sides. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> the main translation I have to do for my parents is like for letters, there's like, it's also always letters to bills and stuff that I don't understand. I remember when my mom asked me to do it, I was like, I have an older brother, so I was like, tell him to do it. He's <laughs> better. Um, and my and well, while we while we're out, um, my mom likes to say a, yeah. and it, it frustrates me because it's not part of the. Like, the language and this, and then the shopkeepers won't understand because of the A. Yeah. yeah. Do you find it frustrating that you have to translate? Um, sometimes not really. It's just yeah, I Are sympathize okay with, my, with my mom because um, it's frustrating for her to not be able to understand. Yeah. Yeah. Do you make your mom learn English so that they can do it themselves? <laughs> I ask my mom to listen to the radio, so she like gets used to the like Kiwi people talking yeah, and I'm stuff. And I think, oh, mom, it'll help you. <laughs> and yeah, my mom gave up. <laughs> <laughs> now my mom used to take um, English lessons, but then she just stopped doing that. So um, you have some, you have quite a lot of international students here mm. in this school. So can you talk to us about your experiences with them? Um, um, we don't really. I don't really experience them that much. <laughs> no, like they, um, they keep. What do you them, think about them? Sir? Like they keep to themselves quite a bit. Um, is they're all like they they get separated because they're all, they're in ESOL classes and things. So um, yeah, no. yeah. They all take. They're all um, up in the ESOL block, and they basically have all their lessons over there. So. Mm -hmm. They're kind of different, and they talk in Chinese all the time at school, and um, like they kind of stick together because they're all new here, and they kind of find friends in that group. But um, yeah. Mm. Well, since we're in the same class, we actually got a lot, quite a few international students same, coming through. Same, yeah. And but the thing about well, uh, and because we're the only fluent speakers in the class, our teacher likes to assign us to them as their yeah. buddies. Yeah. But the thing about being buddies is that we can't find words in Chinese that means hours, like yeah. schedules, stuff. And it's kind of hard to explain to them because they, in China, you stay in one classroom. And then when we are trying to explain to them that every single class is a different classroom, different teacher, they don't understand. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard for them to adjust. Mm -hmm. And our school life is so different, like in China and here. Because I went to school in China for a while, so I know what it's like in China. And then when you come over here, it's just like completely different. And sometimes it's hard talking to them as well, because they kind of like, they don't really want to fit in with like all the 
as a non-Asian people and they just want to keep speaking Chinese. Yeah. And so it's quite different. Mm. 